Hello there, this is DBT, and these are the Vrooms. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt Mine in the global versions in Android, continuing the Lambo week. No, not week, month. Where I'm basically focusing a lot in Lamborghini now. Unfortunately, there are some games where there's no Lambos, like yesterday episode on Ace Racer. But in the end, I made sure to show something related to Lamborghini, even if it was at the end of the video. But it doesn't matter. This game absolutely has Lambos, and we're gonna talk about the Lamborghini Revuelto. And we're gonna check what's happening in the seasonal event, also known as special events, for the car. Uh, you know, I made a video the other day uh, that you could get the car really, really easily by just finishing a race and the car is yours. The trick is starting it up. And like I mentioned, I did buy some packs at the time and uh, because the packs were not locked behind conditions. If you look right now, the blueprint packs are locked behind 260 conditions and I am not there. Uh, so that is what limits right now how many uh, blueprints you can get for this car. Now granted, the entire special event gives you blueprints, but it's kind of annoying because a lot of these blueprints I cannot get. For cars that are old in the game, for example the Centenario, it's not a problem because all you need to do is have the Centenario at 5 star at the maximum stars and you can get one blueprint for the car. And that is basically what happens in all of the cars. Um, but that is actually what ends up being annoying for me. For example, a car like the Lambo Murcielago, I only have it at 4 stars, but guess what? You need it at 5 stars to get this blueprint and some tokens in the way. Um, and this has been the case with several of these cars, for example, the SCV-12, another beautiful car that I don't have at the maximum stars, and because of that I cannot get this, this blueprint. So that is kind of what is stopping me. Um, there was another example over here. Um, oh, the Gallardo, also another car that I am so close to taking to five stars, the maximum count. I'm only short, five blueprint shorts, but because of that, again, I cannot claim the blueprints um, over, where is it? Over here. You need the, the Gallardo at five stars, so that is a bit of a problem. Unfortunate for me, but you know, it is what it is. Now, I'm only eight blueprints away from taking the Revuelto to three stars, and honestly, I think I'll be able to do that because today, what we're gonna do is get some additional conditions done because we're almost there remember the the objective is 260 to unlock the packs and once i do that i have some tokens that i can spend and hope to get some good drops so for that let's go into one of these stages pretty much all of these stages are completely done i have done everything that i could for cars that i don't have a lot of stars well i cannot make much progress in the event but that is just barely enough conditions for me to unlock more stages and be able to do this. For example, right now, I um, need to do two jumps and two shock waves and pretty much win the race. So two jumps and two shock waves. These aren't really all that difficult to do. So, and that is a free, a free try with the Revuelto at the max stat. So let's do that and get our um, conditions done. Now, I, I am sure that I'm not gonna get the same level of luck that I got when I originally bought the blueprint packs that I got like a ridiculous amount of blueprints from them but hey so long as i get in total six blue no excuse me eight blueprints for the car i'll be fine now you actually may have noticed oh hold on the volumes are wrong all right we should be good now yeah now i can hear the game um you may have noticed that i actually have two wild cards that i could have used to get more revuelto blueprints but it doesn't make much sense to spend my two wild cards on that and i'll show you why in a little bit in fact, if you notice, the title of this video should be something along the lines of starring up two Lambos. Yes, there's another Lambo that I'd rather use those on, but we will see that a little bit later for now. Let's just make sure to get our objectives done over here. And again, I am sorry if you see a little bit of lag from time to time in the recording, but that's just a side effect of using the emulator that I'm using. In spite of the fact that I made the resolution slightly lower so that it would be easier, but even then, it's still not perfect, so I, it's fine. In the other emulator, it looked very bad, and it also had bad performance, so at least this only has bad performance, and it looks good. So, I guess in a way that, that that's something. So, while I have you here, why don't you tell me in the comments what has been your progress on this thing? How many Lambos do you have, and how many stages are you going to be able to do? Because, man, there's a lot of Lambos in this game, but it's so difficult to start some of them up that, man, just quite a bit of a challenge. All right, so we did finish the race, we did the shockwaves. Yeah, so we got the, the main objectives that we wanted. Is that enough to unlock the Revuelto packs? I don't think so. Or maybe we just got four. Oh, no, 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 we're missing two more. Two more and we'll be ready to do it. Let's go. 
And I do find a little bit curious that they put the Revuelto in Class B. I was half expecting it to be on Class A, because the Revuelto in real life, it's actually, uh, uh, it's a, uh, well, I mean, the, the numbers haven't published this yet. But I think just by a straight up logic, it would be safe to assume that this is uh, the better um, Lamborghini Aventador Super Veloce, right? In the sense that it's a much newer car, much more horsepower thanks to the hybrid system. It's a newer car. So the Aventador Super Veloce is class A, but this is class B. Eh, it's a strange, but you know, there's so much overlap in the in the classes in this game that I can see how that works. It kind of reminds me to how they made the Pagani Huayra R to be also class B. It's like, what? You mean that that incredibly loud, powerful B12 uh, racing vehicle, you just put it in class B, but it was at the top of class B. I mean, it still is, but not at the very top. That spot has been taken by this beauty, the Lambo Revuel. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the more that I've seen this car, the more that I'm liking it. I wasn't super sold in the position of the of the exhaust, but now that I play more with it, that I look at it, that I appreciate it, it's like, oh, you know what? Never mind, I actually do like the car. I mean, it's still not my favorite position for the exhaust, but it's a minor, minor issue that I have with it. Overall, a very cool looking thing. All right, we got some extra tokens from that too. That's beauty. Okay, are we? No, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Oh, I forgot to <laughs> show you me acquiring these things. But anyway, now let's just do the last race to get the last um, 100 tokens. I mean, at the end of the day, at some other point, I will also do the other races to get those additional credits. But the reality is that, like I, like I mentioned, I'm pretty much as far as I'm gonna get in this special event, excuse me, seasonal event. So it's not like I can do much more, um, get a lot more conditions. I do want the credits, but it's not super important right now. And yeah, I'm basically speed running it in the sense that I'm spending all of my tickets and all of that into uh, doing this this special event because, man, how could I not? How could I not? And besides, I want to know what is my overall luck in getting some blueprints for this to decide how much time and effort am I going to invest in the upcoming season, uh, which apparently... It's going to have, according to some half... Well, you know what? People did say that it was a fake leak. I saw on Reddit on what events were coming. But even without that leak, I do imagine that there's eventually going to be some multiplayer season with this car alone. So that's going to be cool because I imagine that would be another place to get some blueprints for it. Hopefully. But yeah, I, I just want to see... I wanted to get this done as soon as possible. Because, man, it's a lot. How could I not? I'm just going to patiently wait until this Lambo gets added into Asphalt 8 eventually, hopefully hopefully, fingers crossed <laughs> well maybe maybe, who knows if Asphalt 8 also was working um, on this car you know, on the cover without leaking it out and they're gonna release it very soon a man can dream, okay, don't judge me and like that we get some additional tokens and all right well hold on oh that's perfect i just realized how many tokens i have that's convenient why is that well because we have already more than enough conditions to unlock the lamborghini revuelto packs now the problem is that this is expensive it's 900 tokens per 10 and you know how luck works in this game uh, by buying a 10 pack you get a guaranteed drop of this um, and this is the one that is guaranteed. This, maybe if you have tons of luck, but that's very unlikely. So you get one of these guaranteed, and then the other nine packs are still subject to the 10% chance of the drop rate, which is the one over here, featured item. So there is indeed a world where you can get a couple of these drops per uh, time 10, times 10, but you know, it's, it's kind of a low situation. But let's spend my tokens, because that's what they're there for. If not for Lambos, for what? So I'm not gonna keep my hopes up with the with with all of this. Okay, three, nice. I'll take that. Uh, I'm not gonna keep my hopes up too much, but I mean, I'm still gonna be crossing my fingers that I get something. Of course, the very vast. Oh, look at that! Six blueprints from that. That's nice. The vast majority of blueprints are just gonna be trade coins, whatever. But hey, I got six six blueprints from that. I'll I'll take it. But we have more tokens to spend, so let's see what else we get. This for sure would take my car to the third third star. Even if I just get one single um, drop of three blueprints, that's enough. But come on, let's just hope that I get more than that. 
if the game wants to be chill with me. I mean, to be fair, I did lock out a lot. Okay, yeah, I only got my guaranteed drop and that was that. Um, I did lock out a lot that time uh, when I bought them. Sad that I bought them outside of a video. I would have loved to record that for you to see the insane luck that I had over there, but it not matter. We got the Revuelto at three stars, which actually that's gonna work to, to for me to get two um, epic import parts for the Aventador SV through the special event itself. But eh, it's fine. Let's see. Come on, game. Give me, give me something crazy. Give me, give me something to feel like I'm alive. All right, three blueprints right there. Cool. I mean, uh, chances to get to 46 are absolutely impossible. I'm not gonna get there. But you know, okay, six blueprints. That's good. And. A little more, a little more, yeah, baby! Nine blueprints from that. And we only have enough tokens to buy one more of this. So, hey game, if you wanted to drop maybe three three um, jackpots, that would be fantastic. Just to start up the car, just saying. Oh, hello! That's actually kind of useful, I'll take it. I was debating of spending the 400,000 credits to get that last blueprint that I was missing on the store. Glad that I didn't do it, and you know what? I'm only 30 something blueprints away from starting it up. Getting it to four star would be fantastic, but let's be completely honest, that's really not gonna be happening. Might as well start this thing up over here, right? Yeah, 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 whatever. Um, no thanks. I'm gonna save my tokens and hopefully, um, I mean, there's still 23 days before this whole thing goes away. So I still have some time to get some additional tokens and buy some more uh, blueprints with that. Uh, but, you know, so far so good. I actually had considered buying some of these because uh, this this pack has drops for the Lambo G, uh, the Diablo GT and the, for the Murcielago. And, well, not the jackpots, I would be getting these. And this actually has a drop rate of 20%, which are the ones that I like. And it's not super, super, super expensive. I may consider it because my, uh, my Diablo is not too far away from reaching... Um, another star. I mean, it's still a bunch of blueprints, right? But if I get lucky with a couple of drops, that would be nice. And my Murchalago, also, I would love to make some progress in the upgrading of that car. Um, but I do miss, I'm missing quite a bunch of blueprints over here. Now, while we're over here, remember I said that I was going to upgrade another Lambo? Let me show you which one it is. If I find it. Yeah, there it is. The Lamborghini Reventon Roadster. Now, I got this car from its Looper Grand Prix during the Raging Bull season. And, you know, I managed to get it to two stars. And I've been spending my wild cars in upgrade, uh, excuse me, in getting more blueprints for the car. And I got exactly two uh, wild cars that I thought of using on the. Um, nom, 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 on the Revuelto. I still, I still have from time to time problem remembering the name. Don't worry, it'll, it'll really stick in my mind in a matter of a week. Um, so I thought of spending them over here, but then I thought, hey, I'm still gonna buy some packs for this thing, so blueprints I'm gonna get anyway. There's not really many ways to get blueprints for the Reventone, and I have exactly the amount of blueprints that I need to start it up, so why not do that? I don't imagine that at two stars this car is gonna be amazing, I mean, excuse me, at three stars, but it should be alright. That is basically how I look at it. At two stars it has been relatively decent in slipstream seasons so maybe at three stars it'll start to do a little better even in classic and just like that we got two lambos start up and that if you ask me is beautiful now while we still have some few left for the revuelto what i wanted to show you was precisely that now that i have it at three stars that might actually allow me to get actually i can still get from two stars i can still get one epic for the for the veneno but let's see over here what does it require me to have i can get a cup another one for the kuntash the regular kuntash how about this can i get epics here yep by having the revuelta three stars i can get two epics for the lambo aventador j and i think for this two yep three stars then like i said this one for sure this is the one we saw earlier and which other one can I do? I mean, at some point it's gonna start asking for four stars. Okay, two for the Diablo also. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, just out of curiosity, how far can three stars take me? And that's it. Okay, from here onwards it requires for four stars. So, hey, we'll see if in a matter of 20 something days I'll be able to do it. For now, how about... I wanna do this race 
just because it's precisely Aventador versus Revuelto. So how cool is that? I gotta make sure to get five perfect nitros. Shouldn't be much of a problem, so let's do it. Oh yeah. And earlier today I watched a video on YouTube of someone with a ton of tokens that... And a ton of cars also, that was able to completely finish the, the this special event. And straight up golden this card, the revuelto. And I'm like, holy mother of everything. This ass. Oh no, I already forgot what I'm supposed to do. Was it shockwaves? Was it perfect nitros? I don't know. I guess I'll focus on doing a little bit of everything. So, like I mentioned in the other video, I, I do find a little bit peculiar the... The fact that this Lambo has bad nitro. Generally speaking, Lambos in this game tend to have really good nitro. Exceptions, obviously, something like the Countach 25th anniversary. Um, what other Lambo has bad nitro? I'll think about it. But yeah, for the most part, they tend to have some pretty decent to good nitro. This one, no. It's got the speeds. It's actually very fast for a Class B car. But the nitro is where it suffers. Still, I appreciate it for And the fact that it's a B-Class car, eh, it makes it so that I can use it more in multiplayer, because in B races, and Class B races is where I tend to have the most fun. In Class A, I don't have enough cars to really put a, a, a good fight, but in Class B, I do. And having this car in Class B, it's definitely gonna be a lot of fun, and also it refuels quicker. Every time you watch an ad for the refuel counter to decrease, it decreases by 30% or so, so it doesn't take too long for you to... Oh, it was perfect nitros. Okay, I still managed it, so that's cool. And we got my epic import part for the Aventador. I don't even know how many I need to golden that car. Well, I guess we could check over here. Where am I at? Oh, yeah, I have nothing. I guess I really never cared to, to buy. Oh, I have two applied over there. Yeah, it makes sense that I put them on acceleration, right? Uh, maybe I should finish the last one in acceleration. Either way. Uh, yeah, I haven't focused too much on buying epic import parts in this in this version of the game. Because, again, without normally having the Legend Pass, the the amount of trade coins, the red tokens that you get, it's pretty low. I mean, and like I said, I really don't play this version too much, except as of the last week, because of this car over here, obviously. But And depending on what other events are going to be coming in the game after this, um, I mean, once the new season comes, I might continue playing this a fair bit. So, you may you may be right to expect some more content in Asphalt 9 Global. Because um, I tell you, if there's going to be some multiplayer season for it, I'm going to play the living crap out of it. Though, I, I was just thinking that normally those type of, of seasons tend to only give an epic import part at the end. They don't give blueprints, but I hope that there are some ways to get more blueprints for this car. I mean, again, I already got a three star, so that's pretty good, but if I could get it a bit further, four stars, huh? maybe, maybe? A man can dream, okay? And I've, I, as you can see over here, I put this metallic cyan-ish color on the car. I think that, that looks pretty dope. Oh, yeah. Now, I do want to unlock Matt and try to reproduce a cyan style of color. Because I'm telling you, that one of those colors, the default colors for this car just looks pretty bad. And I think that that was supposed to look um, like the green of the cyan or the Huracan Storado. But I don't know. Oh, yeah. And I have my epic import part for the Aventador Super Veloce. So there you have it, I just wanted to make a video driving a bit more the Revuelto because what a beauty of a car it is and you know show you what was the progress in the special event like I said all of these cars are free try if you don't have them so you can definitely make some progress in the whole thing um, and I recommend you to do it because at the very 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 least what you're gonna get is three blueprints for each one of these cars each one of them uh, just with a free try can give you three blueprints for it so if you're very very close to unlocking a car by just a few blueprints or maybe start it up do this because you can get the blueprints and you know that's pretty sweet overall but yeah that's where i'm gonna leave it you know what to do if you enjoyed this video hit the like button all of that good stuff like i said there's gonna be much more content this month related to lamborghini even if some days there won't be too much because the game that i'm featuring doesn't have lambos but either way i'm still gonna mention them one way or another because 
reasons. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check that other video appearing in the top right. No, actually, it's the link by now on the screen where I talked about the Lambo Mon. But that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.